Our first guest tonight have been on Fox together for almost as long as Homer and Marge. They have a whole handful of Super Bowl rings and are celebrating 30 seasons of Fox NFL Sunday. Please welcome Hall of Famers Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long. Too strong. You don't realize how strong you are. Huh? You, you, I know you're being friendly. I gave you love. You're like you an love. orangutan. You hit me in the head. No, and I was like, the you. Like he's it's heavy you're looking. Yeah, he's heavy. Yeah. Hey man, let me ask you a question before you get into your notes that you have right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Put those aside. The show's not doing well, evidently, because you're dressed in black. Are you doing a funeral afterwards? I mean, <laughs> what are, are you doing a, a child's magic show afterwards? <laughs> I mean, what what are you wearing? You've got a. <laughs> yeah, hey. So you thought you were yourself... this funny when you were with us. <laughs> so I, we, we actually ran. You did a skit of Terry. I saw that. Yeah, we're going to show funny. that a little, funny. A little later. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. I thought I, I enjoyed seeing that. I, I, I really, I loved. I know you guys hated me when I was there, but I loved working Not with true. you guys. Not true. For Hate's me, a strong was... word. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. I do want to start off seriously and say it is remarkable that you guys have been doing this. For 30 years, you were number yeah. one the day you started, yeah. and you're still yeah. number one 30 years later consistently the whole time. And I know many people have come after you guys. It, it's, some, it's special. It you really know that. is. You're 20 years on this show. So yeah. you know what is it's that like. how many years you've been at 20? Almost 21, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's been a long time. Yeah. Time flies, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, you guys, and you've been the nucleus of this show. You guys have been there since the beginning. Well, we started really... together. I actually auditioned. I was hired first right. and then brought in to put the show together that David Hill wanted, and this was the first guy I, I auditioned. I, brought, I flew out. Howie came on with a stack of notes, <laughs> which is only Howie would do because he's so well prepared. Howie is well prepared. And that did not go well for the type of show that David Hill wanted to work You know, with. as a player, you never watch the shows I, at that time. Right. I never watch a pregame show. Right, you're so getting ready. I thought, yeah. well, you know, this is the kind of show they're going to do, and no one told you the kind of show. And what they were looking to do is something totally different. I had spoke to the commissioner, five coaches. I'd watch <laughs> five games. That works. You know, I had this much. <laughs> Meanwhile, Terry and, can't uh, even read. And, and, <laughs> hey. Uh, Is that not true? Hey, I got my GED. Come on, man. <laughs> my man, trust me, he's he's rode that Jake Clamp and Beverly Hillbillies hey. thing all the way to the bank. <laughs> hey, what you folks don't realize, Kimmel's a big star. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Big star hosted the Academy Awards, and when we knew him, <laughs> you've got to be kidding. He was in the back seat of it our just car. Goes to show we you. would tell him, shut up. It just, goes, it just goes to show you, be careful how you treat people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that guy with the electric mower, he could uh, be hosting the Grammys in five years. Hey, where is that guy at? I love you. Yeah. <laughs> he I might well be. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Hey, Jim. There he is. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Uncle Jim. Now that Jim's a TV star, do you feel differently <laughs> about him? <laughs> I think the answer is no. Yeah. But let's get back to you guys, because it is a very special relationship yeah. you have. When I was working there, you guys shared a dressing room. Do you still share a dressing room? They split us up two COVID. years ago. COVID. COVID. Oh, they split yeah. up because of COVID. Yeah. yeah. All right. But you never, like, said, hey, I want my own dressing room. I've no, been here 10 I, years. I, no, I, I like sh we, dressing uh, with the big we, guy. We enjoy <laughs> Feelings mutual. <laughs> yeah, I it's saw nice. things in that room hey. that nobody yeah. can see. <laughs> you, it's nice knowing that as you strip down, you ain't got to worry about anybody bothering you, you know, because you got the big guy there. <laughs> He's attracting all the attention, now we, yes. We've been together a long, long time. I mean, you know, my boys were nine, five, and four when I first got there, and two of them ended up playing in the NFL. And, <clears throat> Terry and I covered uh, one in the Super Bowl, and we, you know, NFC Championship That's right. game. And you have great sons too. They're they're, they're good really guys. good guys. They take yeah. after their mama. Yeah, no, yeah. they take after both parents. But uh, do they think of Terry? Are you like an uncle to them? Are you? Yeah. He, he yeah. is. I was when they were younger. I mean, they got kids now, except for for Lil Howie, who just, just recently got married. Got married. Yeah. He just got married. 
But the other two, yeah, think I was Neil, Uncle John Terry. Candy yeah. and Uncle Buck. <laughs> think, think Uncle Buck with a Shreveport accent. <laughs> and and a, a great story is we were, we were doing the bowl game down in Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, Notre Dame, LSU. LSU. And I'm up in the room, you know, studying. Doing, doing what I do and studying. And uh, lo and behold, I get a call from, you know, the bar. Ter yeah, Terry's bar. guy, Jeff. And he says, look, you got to come down here. You know, there's trouble. <laughs> and, and I said, you know, not only is there trouble, but my kids are in the bar and he's feeding them beers. How old are the boys at this time? The boys are they're, teenagers. Yeah, 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 they're teenagers. And mm -hmm. it's, it's not a... Eight and nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a level three. I did three. that for you. It's not a level three offense. But yeah. So it turns out the guy, guy in the bar had said to Terry, you know, who's the best quarterback in Louisiana? And, Jim, and yeah. he said, well, who? said, Burt Jones. And he said, with a little more graphic language. And Terry goes up and hugs him, takes a little nibble out of his ear. Big nibble. <laughs> yeah. Big nibble. So here I am, I'm walking in. Thankfully, the guy, I think, was a walk-on at LSU or something. And, you know, he was kind of, wasn't a civilian, so he, we could kind of <laughs> You could bite him, and it would be OK. Rush it under yeah. the rug. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, he deserved it. And You're then right. I said, what are you doing giving the kids beers? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and biting people around the children. By the way. The funny thing about that show, that's the first time Howie has ever broadcasted a football game from the booth. Yeah. So we're up there, and Howie... It was funny. ...totally prepared. And I am, too. Look, I, I do my work. Yeah. And so we're up there, and David Hill, the chairman of the board of, of Fox Sports, is there, and Ed Gorin, who's the head of talent. Yeah. And Howie and I are in the booth, and Howie, we figured it out. Howie's never done a game, so Howie, you do defense, and I'll do offense. We'll get out of the sugar bowl here, and we're going to be great. So how he does defense, I'm offense, and the first half goes by, we look at each other, pow, high five, man, that's great, you did great, Howie, oh man, did, yeah, it was fabulous. In comes there, Ed Gorin, head of broadcasting teams. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> you can't that do is that. the worst I have ever heard in my life. And he used language that you really don't want to use. And I'm over there going, Look, I've done this before. It wasn't that bad, but <laughs> that's Ed Gorin. You just said uh, he chews our ass out. So I'm like, how is how is sensitive? How he goes? Wow, are we that? Oh, we're bad? in trouble. Are we in trouble? I said it wasn't that bad, big guy. It wasn't that bad. It becomes David Hill, chairman of the board, Ed Gorin's boss. Fantastic! You guys are Fantastic. great. Fantastic! <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> we went. It's a, yeah. I, I told. I, I tell Howie, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to do. Yeah, I'm going with the big guy. Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long are here from Fox NFL Sunday. We'll be right back. Back home in Texas, I got a prize meal go by the name of Daryl. So I'm going to go with D. D. Yo. Is that your final answer? Yes, or Regis. Yes, or Regis. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry, but the correct answer is D. Harris. Oh, shucks. Oh. What in tarnation? Who's writing these here questions? Alfred Einstein? <laughs> Alfred Einstein. Hey, you know what's so hey. funny? Gronk says, is that fair. Terry? No. He thought it was really <laughs> Terry. Just for a second, Terry. <laughs> Well, that's the late Regis Philbin and the great Jimmy Kimmel, number one guy in late night. You guys are actually going to be on his show. He pioneered no, no, the no. comedy here. I, I was going to be on his show. Oh, man. I'm not going now. <laughs> well, thank you for changing your mind. And by the way, you're wearing the same suit you were wearing yesterday on the yeah, show. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm not, yeah, I'm not ashamed. This is a nice suit. It costs $500, and I'm going to wear it 10 times this year, whether you like it or not, and I'm going to get my money's worth. you got a problem with it, let me know. What a... But, uh, yeah, I, I wore the show. I, I, this is a nice suit. What if... It's a nice... Oh, the suit's fine, yeah. Look, it's... What a thrill, though, for you to have somebody like Gronk on the show yeah. to make you appear like the wise <laughs> elder statesman. Oh. I mean, really? Oh. I mean, he <laughs> thought that was you for real? That's insane. That, that, I can't that's explain just that wrong. one. That's wrong. What you're doing right now, Gronk's, Gronk's great. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Oh, he's yeah. a lot of fun for yeah, sure. He yeah, really yeah. is. I don't know though that there's. I don't think Terry and Gronk can coexist. You know what I'm saying? Of course we can. can we, NASA we, calls once we, a week. 
Because, like, you guys go on these, you've been all over the country, you've been all over the world, you've gone on yeah. these trips, you right. go to military bases, et cetera. Boy, um, over the years, we've been everywhere. Everywhere. <clears throat> and, yeah, Gronk can't go on those with you. It's too much crazy. Like, he must be, what is it like babysitting Terry on one of these trips? Well, the, uh, we've been on so many of them. We've been aircraft carriers on the Mediterranean. I don't know why they put us together. Yeah, they always, we're bunk always stick us together. They always bunk us up. He's in the top bunk and... You know, you, you don't really know what that looks like until you're in it. And there's a little TV in the corner. It's a six by nine, six ten by, room. Yeah, 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 maybe, yeah, yeah. It is a bunk bed. He said, I want the top bunk. I said, OK, you, you want the top bunk? Great. So unbeknownst to me, he, he's watching black and white movies all night on this one TV that has a VHS in it. And he puts the VHS in, he starts to climb up, and he's got your, your dad's tidy whitey <laughs> BVDs. That image is seared in my head. Hey, why are you staring, Al? I... Why are you staring? There must, there must be. I just took there a peek. There must be more to this than I know. The other one was we, we were on a C-17 uh, headed over to Afghanistan. We flew to uh, Qatar. Qatar. And then we get on a C-17. C-17 is big, Huge. big plane. Could fit tank Put on the or whatever. Up. Tanks. Yeah, yeah. whatever. It, and. And they've got these crates uh, that are four feet tall, seven feet, eight feet long. And, and we don't know what's in the crates and we don't know why they're in there. So here we are on the back of the plane. And we're, we got on the back of the plane purposely and we're sitting next we're to on one the another. Very back. Very back. Of the plane. And all of a sudden, when no one tells us this, the back of the plane opens up. And we're over Afghanistan. Whoa. The, whole, the whole back of the plane opens up. And all of a sudden, I, I, this hand <laughs> comes over and he's holding my hand. <laughs> Hey, man. He's in a Kevlar helmet <laughs> and a Kevlar vest. I said, why are we in Kevlar helmets and vests? He said, snipers. I said, no one would told us this before the flight. And now they're going to shoot these things out of the back of the plane. He's holding my hand. Michael's looking it over at us like, there's something wrong with these two. Yeah. Who couldn't be any more different. I yeah. feel like there's something wrong with them for not telling you the plane's going to would've open Would have been nice. Air. You know, would have been nice. We thought that we would be at the back of the plane simply just to get off first. <laughs> All right? Yeah. We had no idea the bottom of the plane. And when that sucker unloads, my friend, and you're looking it down at mountains, like a... mountains, mountains. Yeah, big it's, mountains. That's not a pretty sight. People don't realize, you know, and every time we go to one of these bases, whether it's the aircraft carrier out in the Mediterranean, we took a, a huge helicopter out there strafing the, the ocean floor and, and the sea, rather, and... and these kids, and I say kids, the first thing that yeah, gets you when kids. you go on the ship or you go yeah. on the base, yeah. they're kids. And you go, oh, my God. You have no idea the sacrifice and how fabulous these kids are and how dedicated they are to preserving our safety. It's yeah. amazing. It's, yeah, it's I, amazing. I felt yeah. the same way. It's, it's striking. That Showed you just how really, in, in reality, how insignificant you are. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. We play football. We hit people. I hit people for a living. I didn't solve any problems. Didn't you guys go to the Vatican once? We did. The Vatican. If you have not <laughs> been to the Vatican, you can't. Hey, young man that mows that lady's garden or whatever it is. <laughs> you, look, you can't take the train, all right? You, the train won't get you to the Vatican, if you know what I'm saying. So we fly to Rome. Yeah, we fly, you fly to Rome. And I that, said to him, look. I've never been to Rome now. We, 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 if we're in Rome, before we take the van down to, you know, south, to hop on the chopper to go out to the Mediterranean yeah. on the USS Harry S. Truman, we've got to see St. Peter's. We've got to see the Coliseum. Yeah. <clears throat> Terry says, all right, we'll, we'll go see St. Peter's. So we're in line. He's got his hat on. It's I'm not hot. Catholic, all right? He's I'm sweating. Baptist. He's not, yeah. Right. So He's we're, Catholic. Yeah. So he knows so all So the whole it. guilt thing, and, yeah. you know, you got all that. It's built in. <clears throat> so we're in line, and we get close to the door. I said, look, you got to take your hat off. He says, okay, i got to take my hat off. Take my hat off. We get into the building in St. Peter's, and, you know, I look up, and it's like the He wasn't even there. In your head. Seriously, you go see him. Dude didn't even show up. And, and <laughs> the Pope, you mean? St. Saint Peter, the, the guy. Oh, we St. Peter. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, look, I'm, look, I'm looking at the room. I'm I, looking at the come room. Come on, man, work with me. <laughs> I'm looking in the room, and it's like trumpets are playing in your head. It's, yeah. it's the most magnificent. And all of a sudden, I hear water splashing behind me. He's playing with the holy water. I'm washing my hands. I'm, I going, said, into a, I'm <laughs> going into a holy place. I thought it was to wash your hands. <laughs> 
The guy out front with the, the Uzi is, is part of the Vatican's private police. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, someone clue me in before these things, and I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't put my... And look at this. This man, for all How his tomfoolery, has a statue, a statue that was erected. <laughs> Thank you! At Louisiana Tech. Hey. You never thought I'd have a statue. That's pretty hey, good, Terry. I Peyton say. Manning's not the only quarterback has got a statue. The, um, did you pose for this statue? This is an old photo you... Um... It's a college photo, would you? Right, yeah, uh, wow. I was... Uh, Does the hair come I off and 20... you wear it around? <laughs> I'm 21 years old there. Wow. My brother, Gary, took that picture. How great is that? And I went... I, I never had a football picture. And so I just got drafted by the Steelers, and I need, I need people wanting pictures. <laughs> So I, I asked my brother, who was a good photographer, I said, hey, will you take a picture of me in the football uniform? So I went and got the tech uniform, I put it on, and there was this guy <clears throat> that I called him Gad about Gaddis, and he had, he had a mark here, a mark there, and a mark there, and you go, one, two, three, and then you take the picture, and then he had you all set up for that. All I did was go out there, <clears throat> kick my left leg up, put my arm out, kept my brother goes, click. I and mean, that's the picture. Nice. Your brother took yeah. the picture. He, yeah. I had to call and tell him. He didn't know, he didn't know anything about How it. How great is that? It was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you guys here. I appreciate you guys we coming. We love it. Well, every five years works for Howie. Yes, It won't yes. work for me because I'll, <laughs> okay. I'll be 80 in five years. Yeah, you, I have a feeling you're going to be just fine. You think yeah. so? Yes, I really do. I have a feeling you're going to be 112 and still on this show. Fox NFL Sunday every week, 12 noon Eastern. On Fox, Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long, everybody. We're back with Ronnie Chang.